door. And welcome to the U. Our reviews will kill you. The watered down podcast that you earned for your week today. I am the man they know as Z, and I am joined by the man with seven Mac 11s and Tech 9s, Scott Keebler. I wasn't ready to play that sound clip. But it came in perfectly. It did come in perfectly, as it always does. It always does. Unlike my voice, which I just lost. (laughs) Yeah, so uh, Scott and I will be talking about some stuff today and things and mostly water related. I do like this setup. It's it's quiet. It's uh, relaxed. Um... It's much, much more simple. What the fuck's going on here, guys? Why wasn't I introduced? Restart this goddamn podcast. Did you hear something? Ding, ding. I didn't hear shit. No. What? What? I'm, Seriously? I'm, yeah. I'm, Is I'm my mic not on? Weird. I don't understand. Noises in nope. the background. We're literally right next to each other. No. We can see and hear each other. Did you hear something? I don't know. Did you hear One person's something? very fat. One person's very in sweatpants. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. Uh, oh, you're what? both in sweatpants. So you, oh, I'm in sweatpants too, and they're pink. <laughs> Why wasn't I introduced? I'm, I'm sorry. Who are you? I'm the. We forgot who you were. The star of the show that <laughs> has returned. The has returned. That, that will make it better. Ooh wee. Yeah, exactly. That's, Ooh wee. That's Mr. Poopy Butthole, not Noob Noob. So. Wanna God rest- damn! Want to re-roll the credits here and uh, not, give that another go? N- not really. Actually, no. I think oh. uh, there was nothing wrong with those credits so we're altogether. St- I don't know. So we're stuck with, uh, I guess, Noob Noob is back. Yeah. Back in town. I never left. Look, really. that closeted racist, and I'm sexist, and selfish, and I dragged us all into my sexist, racist, bad things because I'm stupid. Okay, well, I guess Noob Noob is here. Yeah. And now the show is better because of it. <laughs> yeah, that's just like your opinion, man. Or a fact. <laughs> or fake news. <laughs> mm. You are fake news. So what are we doing today there, person who is sitting in Noob Noob seat? I would like a proper introduction before I go into the news that you handed me in a couple we minutes. We gave you an introduction. Oh, you mean we, we need you. a news introduction? We told you. No, we got to go over what this episode's going to be before we can do the news introduction. Do we? So what is this show God, about? You are useless. I Do you even, what? You were gone for fucking two weeks. You have no clue what you're doing. I regret giving you chips earlier. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Piece of shit. Um, yeah, this episode's about Aquaman, one of the best movies of the year. Probably should be nominated for an Oscar for Jason Momoa's pectorals and glistening hair underwater. Um, you know, we're going to talk That's about it? that. Just well, Aquaman. Then the news about Aquaman... Julie Andrews is a person that used to be something, and now she was in something else. Um, and then there's a famous Hawaiian dude. It's not Jason Momoa. It's not Hawaiian. That he's not Hawaiian. No, I'm pretty sure he's Hawaiian because I said he's Hawaiian. <laughs> pretty sure he's from New Zealand. Pretty sure he implanted his seed into three famous characters, and he is their father. <laughs> and then we're going to talk about some box office bombs because why not? You know what's not a box office bomb? Aquaman. You know uh, why? Because it's a good movie. Okay. <laughs> so. That's um, a lot of explosions. When I, explosions interrupt things. Still yes. a little upset. You'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> so what are, we, uh, what are we doing here? What, do you so. mean, what are we doing? We're talking about the goddamn news that I just stated. <laughs> news for you today Look, the best news yeah. ever we can talk about non-aquaman things first because get that piece of shit out of the way mortal engines and welcome to marfuck is uh what, bombing what? in theaters because <laughs> no one's heard of them or cares and peter jackson got fat again well welcome to marwin is uh what is that a robert zemeckis film Yes. That's the one with um, 
uh, Michael Scott from The Office, right? Steve Carell. Yeah. And he was like raping. I don't know what he was. <laughs> I think he was beat up because he said he likes to wear women's shoes. Oh, is that what it it's was? It's actually based on a real person. Oh, really? All of these details are more... No one really even needs to know these. Because no one clearly saw the movie. No, it, it's made seven and a half million dollars. On a... $39 million. It's not that expensive. Robert Zemeckis just doesn't make good movies anymore. Let's take a look. He's made Welcome to Morrowind. Allied. The Never heard Allied. Of the Walk. That made $10 million. Flight. Okay, Flight was... Washington. Flight was cool. Christmas Carol. Meh. <coughs> Beowulf. Meh. Polar Express was okay. Oh, Castaway. That was his last good movie. In 2000. 18 years ago? In 2000. His last good movie. 18 years ago. Actually, yeah, he had a string of good movies. And then he just gave up. And then started doing shit. Back to the Future, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Did he do a huge... No, he didn't. He didn't do that. Yeah, oh, yeah he, he did. did Back he to did the Future. He did that before Back to the Future too. Okay. Then Forrest Gump. This is so interesting. I, so why did it bomb? Because no one gives a shit? I don't understand. I don't even know what this movie is. I know there's like some weird animation to it, and it's not Nobody fun. really knows what it is. Like, it was, it was kind of framed to be a comedy in some places, and then it's a super serious drama in other places, and they don't really explain the storyline, or like, are the, you know, is it, is it Toy Story revamped or like what what the fuck is it so scott if i'm hearing this correctly people exploring their sexuality wearing women's shoes is funny to you so a man can't wear women's shoes and that's wrong is what you're saying scott you're you're really you hate anyone that is transgendered is you're, what you you're, just stated you're reaching pretty far aren't there you be mm, yeah. that was just like you're reaching yeah. for the pantyhose yeah no you're you're reaching mm. really really far I and for that i'm gonna kill a dolphin ah oh, god damn it <laughs> Guns don't work underwater, bitch. Sure they do. But you no know what don't. does work? Death charges. And then they. There's explosions the happen underwater as well. Yes. They yeah. interrupt things. So welcome to Marwin. What, what did Rotten Tomatoes or anything like oh, that? Jesus, thing? you want me to Rotten oh, Tomato? This geez. is giving it too much effort. Oh, okay, hold well on. That's oh, right here. Right here. Twenty-six percent. There you go. Wow, that's bad. 54% audience score. Welcome to Marwin has dazzling effects and a sadly compelling story, but the movie's disjointed feel and clumsy screenplay make this innovation easy to decline. Invitation easy to decline. Is this a big problem for Steve Carell? No, he's awesome either way. So it doesn't Not really hurt his could career. Could be a career ender. You do. No. I don't. He's going to be in the office. Remake. He won't be allowed to make like indie movies anymore. They're not doing an office remake. No, I think they are. He no. declined it. They're not. He's mm -hmm. not doing it. He, he said he wouldn't. That's fake he re news. He refused to. Everyone else wants to, and he's like, I'm not doing it. Fake news. Yeah, no, it's, it's, he's not doing it. He declined. Well, let's talk about Mortal Engines. Which news guy. We also, neither, neither of us saw these, so <laughs> none of us. Because they're not worth any money. They're not worth any money. Or Although Mortal time. Engines wasn't like bad reviews. It was just like this movie was made 15 years later than it should have been. Let's see. Not okay. even. It should have never been made. It's it's gonna be a visual shit show the whole time. The premise is wonky as fuck. It makes no sense whatsoever. And visually it's gonna be crap. The why is it I guess it's rotten if the audience was at sixty percent, the few people who saw it. And Tomato meter is 27, though, so that's pretty shitty. But those people were high as fuck. They were so high. They were so high, they had no idea what was going on. Yeah, basically, it has good effects and shitty story. So. And it's YA, and that's kind of run its course. Young adult, if people don't know what that is. Yes, YA. So the young adult stuff is just not hitting with people that as much anymore. I, mean, I guess because there's no more young adults. It's a cool concept. <laughs> <laughs> dystopian future and it's just a bunch of moving giant cities yeah it's it's a freaking train wreck of a fucking concept why would a bunch of cities have to move around and then eat other cities that so seems really in foolish the in the apocalypse everything goes so screwy that that cities get up and actually get on wheels <laughs> because that why can't you just fucking move yourself you know they fucking solved this problem before it was called walking <laughs> yes it's called walking 
<laughs> I don't know why the city has to fucking roll. put on wheels and roll around. So those are like the two two of the biggest Look, box I'm office closed. bombs of the year. Oop. Some of them, yeah. Some of them. Did you fat finger something? So are we done with that story? Yeah, I think it was done before it started. Okay. Yeah, there was yeah. nothing interesting there. Back to Aquaman. This is spoiler alert if no one knows. Julie Andrews has a cameo in Aquaman. We're not going to go into what wow. she is yet. Wait, way to fucking jump the gun like an asshole. What do you mean? We don't even do it that way. We'd talk about the fucking movie first, and then we talk about the, the fucking guy. box office, mm. and then we talk about other shit, and then we get into spoilers. But that's this is the news story. Scott. Just don't tell anybody who she is. I yet. didn't. I literally did not state Besides that. Besides the fact that she's Julie Andrews. Yeah, Julie Andrews. But the interesting thing is, she was the original Mary Poppins, and Mary Poppins came out right around the same time as Aquaman. But did she choose to be in Mary Poppins? No. She chose to be in a much superior film. <laughs> why are why do you keep fucking doing explosions? Because explosions interrupt conversations. That's how things I work. I will pour that fucking water all over That's your goddamn laptop. This is laptop. how things are supposed to work. Explosions interrupt conversations. I thought you we were just talking about Is this about like a running joke bombs. that once we get to something? Is, nope. Okay. Just going to explode things all over me. Yep. Goddamn homosexual. <laughs> Oh, uh, so yeah. So Julie wait, so Andrews. so that's news because she was an Aquaman, but not Mary Poppins because they recasted Mary Poppins because Mary Poppins wasn't supposed to age in the first place. So why is this news? She was offered a role in Mary Poppins. She declined it in favor of Aquaman because she didn't want to take the spotlight from Emily Blunt. <laughs> sounds like fake news. Yeah, it sounds like no news. Sounds like you need to stop hitting the fucking goddamn explosion button. Jesus Christ. Ay ay ay. How many fucking expl Don't do that. <laughs> shit. Okay. Okay. Then move All on right. to our another news story. I had enough of that. Temmy Morrison. Okay. Tem gonna... What's the guy's name? Tamura? Tamora? Tamora? Morrison. Tamora Morrison is actually the father of three very famous characters. I'm not going to tell you which are because he's just going to fat explosions <laughs> all over me. You're just going to guess. You're going to yeah. leave the audience. You're going to tease it. If anyone doesn't know, Tamara Morrison plays Tom Curry. Fantastic character in Aquaman because every character is fantastic in that movie. You mean Aquaman's dad. Aquaman's dad, yes. And he also plays... Django Fat? Father of... Bob Fat? Boba Fett. Ah! That's how Boba Captain Fett does. Solo in the cargo hold. Who did who did Django Fett fuck to get Boba? <laughs> do we know who Boba Fett's mom is? No, we don't. No, but we do weird. know he's a no, clone. No, they never really get into it. Yeah, there is no mom. It's a clone. Is no. Oh yeah, Boba Fett. Yes, I remember this Boba story Fett's now. A clone. Django Fett was what they took the clone DNA from. That's all the clones were based off of Django Fett and Boba. But all the clones were advanced aging. Yeah. So Boba Fett was he wanted a Django Fett's actual naturally aging son, he but he was also a clone. Yes. But he was the only one that they didn't send through that advanced aging shit. Yeah, he wanted him to grow up. What the? <laughs> <laughs> and that's him falling into the Sarlacc pit. <laughs> and who's the other person that he's the father of? And he also planted his seed and created Dwayne the Rock Johnson in Moana. Yeah, that's what? not even close, you what? dumbass. No? He didn't create... No, he didn't yes, create... he did. No, what? Dwayne was oh, the Oh, he's God. the father of Moana, the girl. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> you okay. stupid shit. You thought he was the like... father of... But isn't The Rock the main person in Moana? No, Moana His name's is Moana. the main person. The oh, the kid's name's <laughs> Moana. <laughs> oh, okay. You didn't know. <laughs> I oh saw that. God. There was a bunch of singing. You... <laughs> the Rock stupid. is Maori. He's not Moana. He's, yeah, he's a Maui. different character. He's Maui. But he's Hawaiian. Is he not? They're all, they're what, all do you, what do you mean? They're Polynesian. You are so dumb. No, you are really dumb. dumb. Moana For is real. the main character. She's a Disney princess. Okay. Sure. That's the wow. thing. Wow. Is that not real? Is that God. real? What do Moana's, you mean is that real? Only Cinderella, the white girl, is the real princess, right? Oh, Jesus. No? Oh, Jesus. 
Oh, wow. there's a Mulan. Is Mulan a princess? <laughs> True. <laughs> They're doing a live action. You movie. are just. You are the worst. <laughs> You're like the worst human being alive. Uh, okay. So she. So the uh, Tom Curry is Moana's father, is what we're saying. Sure. sure. Whatever you okay. fucking say. Whatever. It's, it's a, whatever. It's a, it's degenerate fake character. Okay. Whatever. De- yeah. What? These movies made a lot so of money. So Boba though. Fett news and Tom Curry Jesus got together. Jesus Christ! This is why we're trying to get rid of this fucking guy. Oh, boy. <laughs> this is like I didn't what, make the news, the, motherfucker. Yes, you I always, mean yes, I did. Yeah. It's news. Uh-huh, news. Yeah, I make the news all the time. Noob news. Why don't I just mm. eat McDonald's all the time? Oh, because I'm Scott. I think I can skate, but it really just I break through the ice because I'm fat. Go right back to the same old joke. I'm sorry. You're I very you. creative. I love you. We're so so very proud of you. Oh Jesus. Your man bun feels so soft. That's my stomach, not my man bun. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> a little lower. A little lower. <laughs> little lower. Um, yeah. I, I, I now remember why I choose to watch porn at home instead of coming in these days. Ah, uh, yeah. So, I, I, what are we, going into Aquaman now? Why not? We have much to discuss. Pretty much how good is Aquaman? Pretty goddamn good. Is it better than all of Marvel? Yeah. <laughs> I think you're rocking the seat. Like there, Avengers, Scott. I think you're a fucking idiot. I'm I think pretty sure Aquaman would have drowned sucked. Thanos before he could have snapped this, his fucking fingers. He would have drowned Thanos in in tears. Would have had a fucking whale eat him. How are you going to snap your fingers inside Pinocchio's whale? What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber than having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Yes. Can someone do a fucking explosion counter on this episode and see how many what's, times? Actually, what's funny, you say that because I did do an explosion counter oh, Jesus on fucking Aquaman. Did this, you? Let me tell you why this movie fucking sucked. Mm. You do know that you're able to get through one whole conversation without something blowing up because these guys did not realize that. Every conversation in this movie was interrupted by fucking explosions. Yeah, Every conversation. They couldn't get through one conversation without something blowing the fuck up. They would literally be in the middle of talking to each other and like an awkward explosion would just like blow everything apart. Yeah. And now it's like from the start of the movie. It, 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 from the very fucking start. Everything just while they're talking just... <laughs> well, before we actually, you know, talk about the movie. I did another counter nope. too. Okay. How many times do you have to pick shit up off of people? What? <laughs> That's Aquaman's superpower. Aquaman's superpower is picking stuff up. At least people. twenty fucking times in this movie, somebody got something dropped on them and had to be picked up off of them. Apparently, when you're underwater, shit just falls on you because twenty fucking times in this movie, someone was trapped under something and someone else had to come over and pick it up off of them. <laughs> it did happen. It, it happened really did over and over and over again because apparently shit just <clears> falls <throat> on you when you're underwater. Or on, on land, too. Things are heavier underwater. Oh, wait, no. No, they're lighter. no, no. Not even fucking close. They're lighter. Knit they're lighter. Unless it's antimanium. That's, that's Marvel. Never God, mind. you are so stupid. So let's go over the, the, like the important stuff, like how much money it's making. and uh, Yeah. Aquaman is making a fuck ton of money. As of its second weekend, it is over $740 million worldwide. All of that was just hype. Just people waiting to see this movie. No, nope, It's going to make a billion. Yeah. I it's mean, in two to- weeks, it has outgrossed Justice League worldwide and Suicide Squad worldwide, as well as... both those movies sucked. Mm. Well, what's, here's what's kind of interesting. If you look at it, the worldwide gross, because it opened two weeks ahead of time in China, and it got an extension in China... The worldwide gross is five hundred sixty million, and the domestic no the the foreign is five hundred sixty million. Okay, Read I that consider that please. the the world. Mm. The U.S. is just the domestic. But is the U.S. part of the world? Yeah. No. Uh, well, not with Trump. When did when did that happen? The U.S. is getting that wall. It's its own world. When did the U.S. become part of the world? Never. 
<laughs> <laughs> but the domestics at 188. I mean, it's only been out for what a, a week, two or weeks so? in two weeks in domestic in the U.S. So it's did pretty good, like because its first weekend it it made less than Ant Man and the Wasp. Yeah, well, yeah, first, made yeah. first weekend was also Christmas, was it? Yeah, it made sixty seven. Um, it's seventy two seven, or no, sixty seven four opening weekend. But it also Ant Man and the Wasp made seventy two, didn't it? It did. I was pretty sure. That's because people are Marvel sheep. So what I'm saying is, it's doing really, really good overseas. <laughs> And it's doing good here, but it's not doing great. It's not like a Titanic ball buster. It'll probably get oh, that one's 300 too. million worldwide. It'll, or it'll make a bill. Yeah. <clears throat> first, I think it'll DC, a bill. first DCEU movie to make a billion. Well, I guess that's because it sucks a little bit less than the other movies. It doesn't <laughs> suck at all. It sucks. It does not What does Rotten Tomatoes say? Rotten movie. Tomatoes... James Wan is a direct or a terrific director. Yeah. A great movie down at sixty four percent. That's not even a fucking passing grade. Audience score though eighty one. Cinema sheep. score a minus. DC sheep. You want to play? We can play this Thousand game two people. ways. That's pretty good. The sheep that were so excited for this fucking movie, they went out to see it right away and were brainwashed into thinking that it was a good movie. Upvoted it when in fact it was a horrible, horrible fucking movie. We're called DC Seahorses. We're talking bitch. Two hours. <laughs> Two and a half fucking hours of absolute boredom. I have never been so bored in my fucking life. Looking at Jason Momoa is not boring. <laughs> I read a review where they they had even said something like uh, they were looking for what are they uh, pillow sleeves or something for his pecs because they're just so enormous. the The guy's out of control and he's. It's weird because he's a non-proven commodity. Like, what has he ever done before uh, this? Cal Drogo, Where Conan he, the Barbarian. So Cal made, Drogo, wait, that was Arnold did Conan. Yeah, he, he did, did a remake of Conan. It made Conan. like three thousand dollars. <laughs> so he didn't do shit either. Not really. Yeah, no. and he then was in Justice League, he did, which uh, was another bomb. He he did uh, in Game of Thrones. He was Cal Drogo, but basically all he did was and it wasn't there, speaking a different there was language. Something else, and there was something else on Netflix he's doing. Um, Frontier, Frontier, yeah. And bang, Khaleesi. That's what he's known for. What did Khaleesi do to you? Nothing. Then why are you trying to bang her? Trying he to banged her. He banged Khaleesi. He oh, banged okay. Khaleesi. All right, good for him. That's what he's known for. Good for him. Banging Khaleesi. Who's Khaleesi? Mother he did of Dragons. Bullet to the head. He did a movie with Sylvester Stallone. He was in a movie with Rocky. Yeah, but he wasn't that Rocky. Made five dollars. Nine million dollars. What, what movie was that? Conan the Barbarian. Let's see how he much li- Rocky was. Rocky was not in ninety Conan million the dollars. Holy shit! That cost ninety million dollars. Oh, fuck. to make? Why? <laughs> wow. Oh, damn. And it only made twenty. <laughs> Holy shit! Made less than fifty worldwide. <laughs> that is wow. Bad. That was a bomb right there. Did you see? The, he did actually make a movie that made twelve thousand dollars. Did he? Yeah, go back. Oh, wolves. Wolves made $12,000 in 12 screens. That's nice. That's not even 10 people per Action screen. Action horror. Catch up entertainment. Wow. Okay. I think he was the wolf. Oh, okay. Because there's two white people cool. that don't look as manly as he does. <laughs> the players. So he's an untested commodity. What I would say that I was thinking about the movie is I liked all of the actors. I just thought it was poorly directed. The actors were really well, really good. Uh, Momoa and and um, what's her name? Amber Heard. Amber, Amber Heard, Heard. Willem Dafoe. Really Patrick good. Wilson. Oh yeah, I for, I forgot about that. I mean, good Nicole for him. Kidman. First, first he was the goblin, and things didn't work out for him. So <sighs> now he's the underwater goblin. Good for him. Ha, he did kind of look like a goblin. He still didn't he? looks like the goblin. This kind of, was kind of weird. He's still the same guy. Ivan Drogo was in this movie. A D H. Oh yeah, Ivan that's Drogo. right. Uh, was he DH'd? Fucking or did right. he just look glistening underwater? Everyone, that was, hair. everyone was fucking DH'd. That was a and it looked big, like shit. Yeah. Compared to the Marvel de aging, they have oh a lot God, of work to do. Close. Because they Nicole Kidman and uh Tomorrow Morrison was that de aging looked real. Ivan fake. Drago looked more plasticky in this movie than he did in Rocky. Didn't from he way have back when something and back then he him? was made of plastic. 
Didn't he have something fall on him that had to be picked up? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. You he mean, had in something the movie fall on him, too. Yeah. And it so, was picked up. He did. Did his father have something? Did uh, Arthur Curry, or not Arthur He was Curry, unconscious in a truck. And then, the and then the truck, truck fell, fell on, on him. him. Yeah, the he truck was fell down on him. The truck. <laughs> fall on him. Yeah, the truck fell on him. I think the truck him. fell on him. And and that's what uh, you know, Aquaman's special power had to be. He's picking things up. Yeah, he had to pick up that's that. That's a special that thing. Car. That's why his chest is so big, because he picks things up. And pull the door off. I pick things up and put them down. I should have gotten that sound bite. I didn't I don't care. The, uh, so uh, and I, I did think a couple of the action sequences were cool. I thought the very first fight with uh, Nicole Kidman was pretty cool, even though it was a conversation that was interrupted by an explosion. I thought that As fight was always. pretty good. When do you want action they to happen in, in pure, pure silence? I don't understand. It doesn't have to interrupt every conversation they have on screen. Literally every time they had a serious conversation, something blew up. Patrick Wilson was good, though. I thought he was hamming it up, but I, I liked him. I thought he was real good. And what did you yeah. guys... Yeah, did you he think, was hamming up. What did you think about the uh, the underwater like beard floating, whir- whirly-gwirly? Like, I mean, yeah, that was pretty cool. That was kind of majestic. It was fun. Um, but first off, Ocean Master, he hammed it up way too much. You literally just way said five seconds ago you liked him hamming much. it up. I liked him. I thought he was good. He was great. I thought he was having fun with and being no, a villain. And no, Z said he was hamming it up. I said it was too much ham, <clears throat> way too much ham, like no. like a ham sandwich just without the cheese, just way too much fucking ham. No point in having Black Manta, none at all. Well, that's there was fair. no reason so, to have him in that whole movie. Are we? Uh, see, are we, I don't want to. Sp- are we spoiling stuff? You're not spoiling Black, Black Manta, Manta. Was yeah, you're not. The spoiling actor anything. was good though. Black Every, Manta, everyone actor. knew Black Manta was gonna be there. That's not a spoiler. No, but I want. There's something specific that I wanted to talk about Black Manta that was plot related that I didn't want to get into. Well, I mean, we can we, we can enter that section of the show. We talked about the uh, the cast. And what money. about Black Manta? Let's talk about Black Manta's suit then. That's not spoiling anything because everybody knew Black Manta was going to be in it. Black Manta, if you could pull up some designs, uh, somebody I saw the movie with described Black Manta's suit as though it looked like who's this guy? Alpha Five from Power Rangers, the little he robot guy. Though. He always did though. That was always Black Man his suit. He always had that oversized. Head. No, but his look how bulbous the suit is yeah. in the movie. But when you have it in the actual comics, it's more thin. Like it doesn't have giant bubbles on his arms, or giant bubbles around his tummy. Like you know what I'm saying? Yes, he looked it, all kind of squat it, it is, and fat. It's not. Look up Alpha Five. I guess they didn't want to have like this bobblehead looking See, thing. See, look at the one right there where it's like uh, it's all thin, and that one right yeah. there, yeah. that in, would have been cool. In comics, it works, but I think he would have made him look a little too bobbleheadly. In, yeah, but did you uh, did you like the costume in the movie? I thought he looked. I didn't really. Dopey. I didn't even pay any attention to him. I literally, you could have taken him out of that movie he completely, enough, yeah. and it would have changed nothing. He did not forward the plot. That's for sure. Was he nothing. set up for a potential sequel? No, which is a, would be a spoiler warning. So, no, he doesn't do that. That does not happen at all. Totally not. No. What's Aquaman? What's on Aquaman? A horrible movie. <laughs> a really good movie. A horrible what movie. What about... Uh, I thought that the CGI was okay. The de-aging was bad. The underwater stuff I thought was okay. Uh, yeah. Awesome. It, no, it was a CGI shit show. There were parts where it was like kind of a CGI Every shit show. Every battle was such a CGI Does it look shit worse show. than Captain Marvel being a fucking we Super Saiyan seen in that. space? Yeah. We haven't we seen haven't that. We haven't seen the trailer, though. No. This is trailer what makes doesn't... Aquaman a CGI shit show. There's so much going on screen that you have no clue what the fuck is happening. It's literally like Transformers. There's so yeah, much, just and they're jamming together. so much crap onto the screen that you have no clue what's going on. They have underwater battles where they're riding sharks and fucking... Megalodons? Dinosaurs that have been fucking extinct for a million years, yet they're riding a fucking 15,000 of them. And creatures from the fucking trench. And you have no clue what's fighting what and what's going where and who's dying and who's fucking winning because there's so much shit going on screen. It's just that junk. It's, it's just, it's literally, I could have pooped on a piece of paper, 
rubbed it on a fucking piece of film and it would have been more fucking creative than these fucking fight scenes. I hope you ate some neon stuff. To- that's Well, that's the only way to get that look is you have to first eat a bunch of highlighters <laughs> so your poop comes out neon. There you go. And then you run it under a black light so all the stains appear very clearly and that's how you get a fight sequence in Aquaman. Because <laughs> it, it looked somewhere like a mix between Tron... And the Star Wars prequels, and it was called and Mario fun. Brothers and Mario <laughs> Brothers. It 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 literally looked like if you took Tron and he threw up with Rainbow Bright with Rainbow Bright. I I it's it's so bad I can't even come up with anything. It's it's, it's it was fucking horrible. It was an absolute CGI shit show. The other issue with it was the comedy. Uh, I thought really it, where was the comedy in this that's my point is they could have they like had quote unquote jokes but I don't think they actually landed no like, Aquaman was supposed to be a drunk he was supposed to be a drunk in the very beginning yeah, and only they had, totally like, forgot about that the whole time yeah totally he, in, that. In, in, in the opening scene he's like I'm missing happy hour for this and then he goes to the bar and he goes to his dad and is like hey dad you can drink me under the table and yet two seconds later I'm gonna be perfectly sober while you're a fucking drunken asshole and passed so, out. And selfies. Passed out. So yeah, and and yeah, and he's fucking drinking up with these guys and taking selfies and shit. And yet, two seconds later, he's perfectly sober, or he's drunk driving, and we don't approve of that. <laughs> I I did think of that. There was a bunch of uh, jokes though. Uh, I didn't think any of them landed though. Around like nobody, like where did all these sharks and extinct animals and no one would ever notice that we're giant battleships under the water that we've never seen, no one's ever heard of. Special like, cloaking devices? I didn't see anything. Yeah, cloaked, it was a you? little extreme. The, the the four cities of under the water. Like seven. Uh, yeah, how yeah. many cities are there? And yet no one ever saw any of these fucking things. I don't care how much cloaking bullshit you have going on. It's a little extreme. Like, if you had, like, a little town in each ocean, that's believable. Yeah, no, like, real deep. Or... fucking ridiculous. They were, like, giant super cities glowing, yeah. like... Just like in Black Panther, no one knew that Wakanda existed. Yeah. Wakanda was just a little fucking city. It was yeah, a pretty was big goddamn w- city. It's one city, and it's cloaked in the middle of no The ocean's big. Instead, 70% of the earth is water. That's science. Instead... Every ocean has this fucking major fucking metropolis that yeah. no one fucking knows about. What's wrong? You're telling me not one submarine has fucking there's bounced off a fucking shield and been like, well, what the fuck was that? Yeah, there's been the Cold War where submarines have been chasing each other for the past 50 years and they've never discovered anything from Atlantis. They're not at one the thing. second level of the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. They, they went, this movie went second level depth. It's, the movie went fucking second level. <laughs> That's for goddamn sure. Second oh, level stupid. No, it went, it went to the basement. It went, went right down to the down. fucking basement. Actually, went to sub level two. It was second level. Still second level. That's where the second level down. Level. Second level from the bottom. Still second level. Down. From the bottom. This movie was essentially a Black piece of Panther, shit. but just better. No. 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 Not even fucking close. A lot of brighter colors. You have no clue. How was More it fun. like you, Black all, Panther? All you, all you care about is a shirtless Jason Mimosa and bright colors. Yep. Shiny Dude, colors. Is that all we need? That's, that's, all, that's you all you fucking care about. <clears throat> Wait, all we need. Where are my keys? I'm going to fucking entertain him for the next fucking 20 minutes. I'm just, just going to jiggle, jiggle my keys in front of his face and you won't hear Noob Noob for fucking five hours. Do you have a Momoa keychain? I don't understand why that's going to entertain me. Look, <laughs> shiny lights, shiny lights. Why don't we uh, go to spoilers then and we can... Sure, yeah. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. I sound like this because I'm underwater. I sound weird when I'm underwater. And there's explosions because I can't talk without being interrupted by explosions. So we're going to spoil this movie. Even though there's not much to spoil. Because there's just a bunch of shit blowing up. (laughs) People riding sharks. Basically, there is nothing to spoil in the movie (laughs) if you watch the trailer. So so while I was sitting there, I was taking some notes. And I just want to... Do a, Your handwriting uh, is uh, atrocious. Because it was in a fucking dark room. And <laughs> How do you expect him to write in a dark <laughs> door, room? Door in a fucking movie. So I'm just going to run through some of these, and I want you to defend these, Noob Noob. Are you ready? Sure. Ocean Master. He is fantastic and purple, and he has a nice smile. Yeah. Little over the top. Ridiculous. His mother was killed, apparently. 
I could be the Ocean Master. I liked him. You didn't Do like you Ocean, Master? The Ocean Master? No, I think I think they fucking vamped on Ocean Master way too much. Calling him the Ocean Master, and I'm gonna be Ocean Master, and I'm gonna conquer well, he the had four to earn the title. The That's his do. title, though. He had of... to earn it. He wasn't. He didn't start as Ocean Master. He was just King Orm, doing king all shit right, right. for the well, Atlanteans. Allow, like I said, I'm giving you the chance to defend yourself. I already defended um, that. What are holograms? So. Oh, that was <laughs> <laughs> so. That was the only way that they could talk to Black was, Manta. Was, yeah. was ocean fucking holograms. water holograms and okay. ocean hologram. Fucking water had to come up and create so the hologram have, for Ocean Master to talk to Black Manta. So we can have digital holograms, but not water holograms. Don't it be looked a water like shit. It's, it's just weird. Absolutely looked like shit. It's underwater. <clears throat> what the fuck do you want for them to do? Why? How, how about how about you have customs and diplomatic clearance in this underwater city? What really? That's like what she said. there was there was an there was Some an Maris ocean thing. highway. There oh was yeah, a, there was an ocean or highway. Bridge. Wait, like Rainbow Road. Road. There was the bridge. bridge. There was the busted ass bridge, but like the it was Rainbow there bridge. because there was reasons. And there was like thousands upon thousands of cars sitting there in customs. Literally, this is like trying to go fucking Laguardia Airport. You're just sitting there for hours, and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of fucking underwater fucking shitty cars there. Yet no one knows Law of this place. Law and order. That's she said, how many? How many people live in this fucking underwater city? Didn't lot. she say something like, "Well, that's the old way they used to do things, so they still do it that way"? Because yeah. she's like, "Why is everybody going on a bridge?" Yeah, it, was. It, it, it was. It was like it wasn't very funny. I feel like yeah. that question was answered in the movie itself, but it, still a ridiculous thing. Yeah, that's fine. But if you went around the bridge, there was a bunch of fucking homing missiles to shoot you out of the sea. Big water cannons. Water cannons. Water laser Atlantean cannons. Water cannons. So in a two and a half hour movie. Two hour and 20 minute movie. Sure. Yeah. A fucking two and a half hour piece of shit. Is that with credit? (laughs) Why the hell do you need to extend this out with the vamping fucking flying scenes? What? When they're flying around the fucking city. When that whole scene we're just talking about with everyone going into the city. They literally lasted like three minutes of them just flying through and doing a a fucking... um, Fucking oh, you mean looking at all the just animals looking they at them enslaved? flying the fuck around? It literally was like a fucking five minute like Titan AE or or what was that movie with those fucking blue people? Avatar. Avatar. Yes, just a scene for five minutes of them just flying around. At ooh, look at all the pretty colors. Yeah, look cool as shit. Yeah. Look at these. Why do they have to fucking put that in there to fucking make this movie two and a half hours? They also had a bad guy montage, which is awesome. Oh, that Black, was the Black Manta worst. making his fucking costume. That was the worst. Randomly in the middle of the movie for no reason to have a montage a fucking of random Black montage. Manta. To fi- making his suit, painting it black instead of having a dumb white suit. Yeah, <laughs> what could have been the that? white manta? Why? Why did they? First off, you didn't even so- in the fucking movie. Then you had this horrible fucking montage. It was out of place. It made yeah. no sense. It was showing off his prowess at building stuff. He's basically like Black Iron Man. Why did they have to have You're a montage idiot. with music where it's like do 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 do? Because he was looking cool. Can we cool. talk? Well, I'll let you finish your list, and then I, I have my criticisms. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll jump through this because <clears throat> some of these are just funny comments more than anything else. Um, I, I did miss at a, at a minute, an hour 30, one hour and 30 minutes into a way too long movie. An hour and 30 minutes, you're only halfway through this fucking movie. Get to your point. Why didn't Nick's Cage show up to help them find the fucking Declaration of Independence? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, because they were on a treasure hunt. Because that's exactly what this fucking movie was. In the Sahara Desert with Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah they were basically doing <laughs> it's Sahara. basically the same thing. Let's see. Uh, a minute 40 and we're just running around because... Exercise is important. A minute 40 or an hour 40? An hour 40. I'm sorry, okay. an hour 40, which is Gotta a little more... Gotta play 60 minutes a day. Which is a little more than half of this fucking movie. Mm. Uh, let's see... Uh, Black Manta was basically fan service. The end, they found the land of the lost, which is interesting. Um, oh, the hollow earth. The thing. hollow earth. It was, yeah, that was, it was pretty dope. Yeah, Will Ferrell was like, dude, I already did this fucking remake. Calm down. <laughs> Will Ferrell? <laughs> yeah, he did a movie called yeah, Land of the Lost. Did land oh, of the yeah, lost. he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so they found the last city they went to, the Fishmen. The, the fishermen? The tr- no, no, Are you no, talking no. about the fishermen? The fishermen, the fishermen got no, murdered no, real not quick. Not the fishermen, the fishmen, the last city that he went to to become Ocean the Master. trench people. Oh. No, he's talking about the, uh, the, that famous are actor. They, yeah, trench, oh, are they trench people? Is that what they were calling them? No, 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 no. no, no, no. They were the trench people. It was they the were the city. fishermen. They were called the fishermen. No, yeah. they were just called fishmen. No, they weren't. They, they were called fishermen? Yeah, they're, they're, their cast is called the fishermen. They were racist. 
Well, everybody was racist. Everyone in this was very movie. racist. But how many guys... times did they yell at Aquaman and be like, "You half mongrel beast!" Like, yeah. okay, chill out like, with the half mongrel stuff. The the fishmen, like, as soon as I saw them, I was like, "Wow, dude!" <laughs> Why were they were racist or their they, design? Their was design racist? was horrible. Well, the weirdest part was that uh, who's that actor? He was um, he was in Gladiator. He's in. Uh, he was in Guardians of the Galaxy. He's like that. Uh, I wish I could. T- I'll tell you. We'll tell you once. So was the guy in Fishman? Well, while while you're doing that, I only, I have two more questions. Um, so they do find the mom, which is what we were talking about briefly in the news. That's who. Uh, what's her name played? And she Wait, says, what mom? The Aquaman's mom. Aquaman's not, mom not, is not, Nicole not Aquaman's Kidman. mom. Yeah, Aquaman's mom. They find her. We in the news we talked about yes. Julie Andrews. Yeah, Julie Andrews. Yeah, no. Aquaman's mom was who? Nicole Kidman. Yes. They Julie Andrews her. is a different character. I don't give a fuck. Okay. All right. I'm mean, I'm talking about Aquaman's fucking mom, the queen, the lady that was queen buried Atlanta. in Queen Atlanta, who was stuck in a trench. She says, "People fight for themselves, but I know you fight for everyone." How does she fucking know that? She's been stuck in a trench for the last twenty goddamn years. How she not know that? How she know that Aquaman fights for everyone? How she not know that her son's just a, like a prick? How does she know? Yeah. Because she knows, man. Like, How know did she know what he looked like? She never even saw him everyone. except for when he was a little tiny You know kid. why? Because when he finds the trident, he gets the shiniest and fanciest costume I've ever seen. Oh, it, it was fantastic. so shiny. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, why was it so shiny? That was a little much. Like, the mummers were like, dude, you need to calm the fuck down. That yeah. was way too much on that costume. So, Jamon Hansu was the he's the king of the fishermen or whatever it the, is. He was basically a bitch. Yeah, he was in it for two seconds yeah. and got killed. And I don't want to fight. So dumb. Okay, I'll kill you. Okay. <laughs> they like why cast such a great actor to do nothing? Like that was ridiculous. So was that was that your, uh, your yeah list? yeah that's that's my list of things that I was picking up as the movie went along. It sucked. It 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 was a piece of shit movie. So I was I was so fucking bored the whole time. So there was a guy sitting next to me texting the entire movie. Never stopped at texting the whole movie. Because there was nothing to watch. In and movie. when the movie ends, he gets up and the lights come up and he goes, that was a pretty good movie. And I was like, <laughs> what movie were you watching? You were texting the, <laughs> whole, texting time. the whole time. You didn't see any of this. He's wrong. It was a pretty great movie. <laughs> no, it was a pretty crappy movie. It was a pretty fantastic you movie. You are still stupid. They, nope. Somehow, too, they magically changed outfits in between every single scene. Yeah. For no reason. But there's a logical gap That's where they could have left the one magic. scene changed real quick because maybe they've soiled themselves. Maybe they want a little more support. In maybe, their own maybe they just didn't write a good fucking movie, so they just made shit up as they went along. What about Mira? She's wearing the jellyfish outfit. Yeah, looking the jelly- hot. For no reason, first of all, why do why? a jellyfish? Why? <laughs> She's wearing this jellyfish dress for no reason. And I would imagine that would hurt because jellyfish She's sting. Underwater. They sting. Or they they sting underwater. That's how they're jellyfish. Her, they're her friends. No, that's how jellyfish hunt. She they doesn't sting. talk to fish. Only Aquaman talks to fish. He's the only one fish. that talks to fish, not her. That's basically like a wearable rape whistle for her. So she has this jellyfish <sighs> dress on. And then she. she Gets all mad because Aquaman's fighting King Orm. Yeah. And they they flee, right? Or she like runs, she gets mad and leaves. And then two seconds later, she's in her little boat car flying thing and goes and rescues Aquaman, but she's in her original outfit. But why do they need these little boat car things when they fucking travel faster than these fucking things when they, they swim? Probably, yeah, I don't know. That is a good they, question. They, why do they That's do that? I, I don't have a retort. <laughs> <laughs> The other thing that I thought was hilarious was the scene I've never in all of movies that I've ever seen in all the movies I've ever watched. I've and all the revenge flicks I've ever seen. <laughs> I have never, ever heard these this line in a movie. I was just kind of like, what? So uh, Black Mana's dad is is basically he's trapped under something. Yeah, he's something trapped fell under on something. Him. Something fell on him again. <laughs> foreshadowing because they couldn't remove the thing that was, you know, trapping. If only someone was there to pick that thing up. His father literally says to Black Mana, I need you to get revenge on that guy. I need you to kill that guy for me. That guy. I'm going to die. 
You need to revenge that guy. Have you ever seen in a movie where, like, you know, there's plenty of movies where the father dies or somebody kills somebody. No one has ever said to someone else, I need you to revenge me. You need me. to revenge me. Who ever says that? No one, no, ever. No, no, It's always implied. It's implied. It's implied. Why it's would you break implied. that line? You don't line? have to say it. So many of the lines were clunky, and that's where I was. Where I was like, these actors are good, but if you took a different director and a different writer, uh, it would have been a better movie. I think, yeah, if you had a good director and a good writer, you'd have a good movie. However, you don't have either of those, so you have a piece of shit. Because... Uh, there, there's even a part where there's the joke. First of all, why do they go to the desert? Why? Because it's a treasure hunt. <laughs> because that's where you find the Declaration of Independence. So that was like, but it's literally like they signed up so they could do the one joke, and it wasn't even a funny joke. Where he goes, she extracts the one drop of water one from drop his of water sweat from his head. You know, the entire top, city the was supposed to be underwater, but, you know, one drop activates the although, stupid machine. Although, if Matthew McConaughey was there, he would have been like, you do know there's a river that runs under the ocean. That's how the poison was spread. Yes. All right, all right, all right. All right, Exactly. All right. If only Matthew McConaughey was there, he could have showed them the secret ship. But then he goes, uh, Aquaman says to Mara, he goes, oh, I could, could have just peed, peed on, on it. it. Yeah. Like, was- I giggled. Lightly. Yeah, you're the only one. So, a very soft <laughs> you're giggle. You're the only one. A very soft giggle. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you're, you're that was funny. Giggle. Why? So why was it that the Green Goblin was in Aquaman's corner the whole entire time? And Ocean Master knew this, but he had to wait until hour seven. Yeah, it's called to set just, up. To just randomly be like, I've known this whole by time. By the way, I've known this whole time that you're a fucking traitor. Which he never explained. But I've Waiting. let you stay next to me this entire time so you can secretly go back and tell my enemy what I'm doing. Keep your friends close, enemies closer. There we go. Logic that one out real quick. <laughs> yeah, no, no. That was the fucking stupidest thing. Dude, he killed himself. P- pretty much, he brought his own fucking end. He didn't die, though, so... No, he didn't die. But they just want to have a talk him. after he's captured. They, <laughs> what an awful life! Yeah, like, yeah, that. When, when you're ready, let's talk. Yeah, when you're ready, let's talk. What afterwards. is that? What? Who writes that line? Yeah, you know what? He was the, later on. They're having a conversation. And he's like, "Dude, uh, I, this whole thing may have been a mistake." What you mean? This battle? No, no, this movie. <laughs> this, it's just like. But this you know, whole mom. Thing. Is well, the whole still alive. there's no. There's no reason for him to be mad, well, that mad anymore because his main hatred for Arthur was because he blamed him for his mom's death. Yeah. Mom ain't dead, I mean, so yeah, yeah, let's yeah, just be one big happy family. I mean, yeah, you, you did find mom. Yeah, but she was hanging out with a whole bunch of like underwater dinosaurs. It was, uh, I mean, the like the, the fucking kid was there with the frying pan saying, "Not the mama." It was, it was. It was <laughs> Where was the dad? Or King Orem's dad. What happened he to that guy? He just died of old age. Was it Did fish they, cancer? They, they never explained they any don't. of that. King Orm's but he has dad. his trident, so that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, there was no answer to that. Well, There was no answer over the rainbow? So so in in, in one storyline, I'm not sure if this was, was comics or, or comic book or something like that, dad and mom were still alive. And Aquaman had to come back and prove himself. And the whole time, King Orn was like, go fuck yourself. You're a bastard son. And then last second, Aquaman proves himself. And then something happens. Something probably fucking falls on him and kills the dad. And so that's the one But that's not line. his dad. That's King that's, Orm's dad. That's uh, not King Orm. No, King Orm's and Aquaman. It's the same guy. They're brothers. No, uh, no they're half different brothers. Different dads. They well, have yeah. different oh, dads. Oh, you're right. So King Orm. So, so Aquaman tries to go back to prove himself to... King, King Orm. Wait, King Orm was the dad. No, King Orm was Ocean Patrick Master. Ocean Master. So whatever the dad's like name, is. the dad who never existed. But that's but that's what I'm saying. They in, say the name of the dad in the movie. They do in, in different storylines. They do show the dad, and Aquaman has to go back and prove himself, and the dad doesn't fucking like him because he's a bastard son, and blah 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 blah. Yeah, but this movie just fucking glanced over it. Didn't he even fucking bother. banished. But that's what I don't understand. Is they didn't banish. They sent no, the they mom to her the death. Mom. Yeah, okay. sent her to her death, and she survived in the land of the lost. Why didn't she come back? Because she couldn't escape. Because she couldn't get the trident. Only the trident can. Only help the you trident escape. can help you escape. So I mean, all right. So there is logic behind that, but to get to that point was two hours of fucking wasted time. 
So let's talk about Julie Andrews. Oh, King, King. Atlan. King Atlan. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. There was a person in the movie who was King Atlan? Yeah, Graham McTavish. When did he... I never no, saw him in the movie. That fucking part had to be fucking dropped. Oh. Well, well that's had, just it, weird, too. Uh, people I saw the movie with didn't understand Willem Dafoe's character at all. He's the Green Goblin. He fought Spider-Man. Well, there's he was cut from Justice League. He had a whole part in Justice League that they cut. And it was pretty clear from this movie that it... You know, that's why Momoa wants to have the fucking Aquaman Justice League cut. Probably. Because it makes cut. more sense. No one was ever going to see it. Yeah, they're never going to release that. Even though Momoa is like the main guy pushing for it at this point. He's got some cred, oh, yeah, though, now. Be, I was supposed to be playing this the whole time, too. What is this? This is the... An epic soundtrack to an, an epic oh movie. Oh, my God. God, was the music awful. Yeah. The 80s-tinged garbage music. Oh, God. So bad. Listen, the only... I mean, the one thing that I found was kind of stupid was Black Mana. Didn't need to be in the movie. And Definitely. his whole purpose was really stupid. He's a scavenger... Was he always a pirate? Was Black Manta always a pirate? I don't know, I guess. I don't, I don't know the, the story behind Black he Manta. He knew of Aquaman. He was clearly pirating after he knew of Aquaman's well, everyone, existence. Well, and, and that is what everyone knew about Aquaman. That's and then like the random cuts to the surface, like you know the news people going like, "Oh, ocean people are real and they're not real." No, we know they're fucking real. We just saw fucking purple tentacles coming out of the ground, and Superman was there, and this fucking Aqua dude was there as well. Yeah. Yet there's people in the news still arguing about whether or not Atlanta exists. Yeah. But then there's black men. Well, Atlanta exists, but Atlantis. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Atlanta. I think we would gladly I mean, let Atlanta, Atlanta sink Georgia. for Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia doesn't exist. There's an airport. Like, <laughs> what the fuck do you want? That's, that's, that, what, 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 what do you want to go to Atlanta for? I hear there's an airport. And that's it. Like, I don't understand the logic of Black Manta's whole crew wanting to have Aquaman come. Like, why would you think that would end other than everyone getting their shit beat? The other thing I thought that was a plot point that they totally ignored was the whole uh, Ocean Master set up that like black man has stole the sub he was trying to steal the sub so they could use the sub to attack the the other king so the king would agree to grant ocean master the black title. manta was king orm's pawn i understand i understand that but he had that plot of trying to manipulate everybody and then they just like never talked about it again eh. they're just like oh okay we'll give you this cool suit mission accomplished my helmet's too small <laughs> My helmet I is need a too bigger small. helmet. <laughs> His suit was yeah. still awesome. His powers were awesome. He doesn't have powers. His He's suit, I did not like. He looked like he was chunky. He was a big bitch, but and nobody explained like the whole fit. Like, were they killing fish people? The fish robot guys? Were they fish or were they people? Or were they made of water? Were they androids? Only the highborn Which, wait, can apparently the live the on the land too. Guys? Well, that was the one thing. The that what the one. Th that's what too much of the movie was, was like throwaway lines to explain things. Like, oh, only the highborn can breathe on air and water. Yeah, that's the other thing. Whether they can breathe or not, or don't know, or they have struggle, or it's, it's none of it made any fucking sense. They just all should have been able to do either one, and it would have made more sense. Can we talk about perhaps the worst scene in the entire movie now? Julie Andrews being it the Kraken? It was a two and a half hour movie of worse scenes. I mean, you well, really... Let's... Yes, we could talk about Julie Andrews being the Kraken and talk about her connecting her to the CGI shit show. First of all, she has a couple of lines and the only way that Aquaman... Like, I don't understand. Why is she monologuing if no one ever talked to her before? She's got to talk to somebody. She's going crazy down there by herself. She's just talking to herself yeah. and then she goes, Oh, Aquaman, you can hear me! Yes! So she's Bane Kraken. Oh, yeah, there's another part, by the way. So let's finish the Kraken part. So the Kraken, like, the Kraken's coming out of the ground in the very last fight scene or whatever. Looking cool as fuck. I no, didn't no. know what it was. No I didn't, one knew. It had no tentacles. It's crab it, like, Kraken. And it, was, it had was, giant claws. So, so, was this, so was this the Kraken that he was fighting to get... The trident. The trident. Yes. Except it, it very had a name. different claws and fucking tentacles. Exi that's what I said. When he was fighting it down to get the it fucking had trident, tentacles. it was tentacles and some weird fucking thing. And then when it came up above, the carathon. Yeah, it made no sense. It was like stupid, and it looked dumb too. It looked like a crab. It looked like uh, was that shark almost with crab claws. 
so stupid. Oh, I so I do have a complaint about Black Manta before we get to the worst scene. So, did anyone else catch the joke where he came up with the name like Black Manta, but he's yelling and he's like, "My name is Black Manta." And they're like, "What?" I'm Black Manta. Yeah, I heard him. <laughs> no, no one could understand what he said in the Wh- theater. When was this? When he was fighting it, and he comes out and shows the suit for the first time, he's like, "Oh, Black Manta!" I, I, I don't even remember it. That's how he, he was so clear. You couldn't understand anything he said when he was in the and suit. No he was idea. Worse than Bane. He was just like shouting stuff, and was like, "I'm going to get you, Aquaman!" man!" And his you're physicality like, made up for it. <laughs> you mean in his bulbous suit? Yes, yeah. bulbous suit. <laughs> his beady With red his eyes. Oversized head. Okay, let's talk about. See, look, fisherman princess. I was right. They were the fishermen. So let's talk about the worst scene in the movie. There was actually two uses of really awful slow-mo. The first one was when Joe, uh, Jason Momoa flicks his hair seductively when it's wet in the submarine. And he like, okay with turns that. his neck and like, snaps his hair. But the other scene is when Mira and Aquaman are walking out of the water. And it's slow-mo. And there's a song playing. And it's quite possibly the worst song uh, that has ever played on they Earth. They tried to get rid of me. Pitbull? They, they tried. Ocean to ocean. But from ocean to ocean. Ocean to ocean. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. Dude, this song has pissed off so many fucking people. Well, we like, tried to call for a ban on Aquaman because of the song. <laughs> I know. And unfortunately, it didn't happen. A ban on Aquaman did not happen. It didn't work. <laughs> There's this. Or boycott. Better it's, than the original. <laughs> yeah, Fuck Toto. N- not even fucking close, dude. They should oh change the chorus. They didn't even change the chorus. Fucking no. Horrible. It's just. It's not even like they're not even going to Atlantis. They're going to Africa. No, no. They're, they're not going to, even going to Atlantis. Yeah. They're going to Africa. And then Pitbull fucking says some bullshit over it. I'm not even going to fucking bother. You can't. You don't get any more of that. That's it. <laughs> It That's it. So I closed it out. You will never hear that fucking song played again on Orgio. I guarantee it. They could have. It could have been funny though. Like that's one of my criticisms of the movie is they just didn't go there to try to be funny. And I was saying like with Infinity War, I thought Infinity War, especially the first half of it, was just hysterical. You know, there's some amazing jokes in Infinity War, like. Uh, um, you're embarrassing the, us in front of the wizard. The, the whole, yeah, the Hulk is having performance issues, and he's like, "You're you know, you're embarrassing us in front of the wizard." Or the other line, which is the Spider-Man line, where it's like, "Oh, we're using our fake." He goes, "Oh, I'm Doctor Strange," and Spider-Man goes, "Oh, we're using our fake names now." <laughs> I'm Spider-Man. Like, there was those are great jokes. It was a funny movie. Aquaman like just didn't go there, no, and I think Jason Momo can dead. do comedy. He can do anything. I think he he could have been funny, but they just didn't trust him to carry the movie. Damn it. He carried it anyway. He did, but he they didn't give him enough. Like I think they were afraid of using him because even the fight scenes that he did, yeah, like I'd his fight him. choreography was pretty good compared to like the Iron Fist kid, like you know. <laughs> He actually looked fairly decent. He was fucking awesome in everything he did in that movie. <laughs> yeah, uh, the 16-year-old Arthur was not... He was just kind of white. No, he was a bitch. <laughs> but Jason uh, Momoa is mm, scrum diddly And they've all... Uh, I don't know. The whole movie just like defied logic. It was still enjoyable and fun. If you like to just get high and sit back and look at the lights. Again, if anyone likes Black Panther and doesn't like this movie, you're a fucktard. You're still an idiot. How? You're it's the still, same goddamn you're movie. It's not no, the it's same not. movie. One's in Africa and inland. The other one's underwater in Atlantis. Same fucking thing. No. Except Jason Momoa was better than Chadwick Boseman. No, no there's nothing, no. nothing about... So much better. No. Nothing... About he would either fuck of up movies Black is even close. So hard. Would literally just shove his trident right up Black Panther's asshole. It, first of all, the Aquaman movie didn't know what kind of movie it wanted to be. It was like, oh, we're going to go on a treasure hunt. Yeah, we're going to go surf for treasure. Or it's going to be gonna, a revenge flick. And then we're going to take gonna... over the four realms. And then we're going to fucking Seven. bury this ring in this fucking volcano. <laughs> oh, that's a Mordor reference for yeah. Lord of the Rings. 
So it just didn't know what kind of movie it wanted to be. No, it other than no entertaining. It, no, it was fucking boring. It was, it was so boring. boring. There were so many explosions. So How could it be boring, Scott? I was so bored. D- mm. Just because there's explosions doesn't make them... Doesn't make it exciting. Yeah. We, Michael Bay has and, and taught just, us that. And just uh, to prove well, to you, I'm not playing any explosions right now, and we're still entertaining. Well, at least we are. I don't know about yeah. you, fucking are noob you? noob. Oh. <laughs> I listened to the episodes without me. Not, not so much. Yeah. yeah. They, were, they, were, they were decent. S- good superior. Good. Superior. Pretty we call, sure we call it the uh, superior noob noob. <laughs> Pretty sure we should be sponsored by the Suicide Hotline after those episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone listening is probably going to off themselves. Uh, uh, don't do drugs, gosh. kids. Don't noob do noob drugs. approved. Brian King, King Rook. There's all these random people that were there for no reason. So I was doing some research and I actually found some of the, um, the, the story behind the city. That was uh, in this movie. The Fractured City of Atlantis? Yeah, yeah. Um, Amazingly enough, I did not realize this, but I was able to find something. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and and play that. Atlanta was a city, landlocked, hundreds of miles from the area we now call the Atlantic Ocean. Yet so desperate the city's desire for tourism that they moved offshore, becoming an island and an even bigger delta hub. (laughs) <laughs> Until the city overdeveloped and it started to sink. Knowing their fate, the quality people ran away. Ted Turner, Hank Aaron, Jeff Foxworthy, the guy who invented Coca-Cola, the magician, <laughs> and the other so-called gods of our legends. The so-called the gods. gods. they were. And also Jane Fonda was there. <laughs> the others chose to remain behind. On their porches with their rifles And one day evolve into mermaids And sing and dance And ring in the new Hail Atlanta! It's the story of Atlanta It's the story of Atlanta is Atlanta Atlanta is Thank you, Futurama And and of of course we have our favorite clip from this movie She's Scream in trouble. You want. Nobody can hear you out here. You know she's in trouble. I can. Aquaman, help! Who's that? Hey. Aquaman. Hey, hey, let her go. Well, that or shoot is what? signing. Or, or, I don't know, man, but you're, you're lucky you're not doing that over here. Why are the subtitles in, the in Spanish? Or else, <laughs> Who knows? Or, or I would stop you. For God's sakes, help! Do something! Ah, oh, if you don't like starfish, <laughs> you're going to be mad That was his what I secret did. starfish oh, God, attack. Help! Oh, you're in for it now, buddy. I got like five fish coming to help. Oof. Oh, oh, here they are. Help, he's hurting me. Well, maybe you shouldn't have let him on. Uh, <laughs> you damn... Aquaman. <laughs> Aquaman. Oh, man. Oh, oh I, I guess I have one more thing that was ridiculous about the movie. That you didn't see the second time because it was so good? No. So, <laughs> so bad. I Mira, don't know how you defend this fucking movie. Th- this you can't defend. There is no defense of this. Sure. This. Tell me. So, Mira, th- he he comes up with the idea to hide inside of the whale. And he's like, oh, I got oh. it from a movie or whatever. So. Or no, no, no. He didn't say I got it from a movie. He's like, it was Pinocchio. It worked for Pinocchio. And it that's what he Pinocchio. said when they were hiding in the whale. <laughs> And then later she finds the book, Pinocchio, or some kid They're randomly in Italy. hands her. An English version. An English version of she Pinocchio. She speaks English? In England. In, in, in she Italy. She didn't speak. She was in Italy. They were speaking Italian. She was in like Sicily or Venice. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. It was cute. It was and the kid nice hands her an, an English and version of, Pinoc- of Pinocchio. And then she reads the book instantly because she just opens it to the exact page where... Pinocchio gets swallowed by Monstro, the whale. Even though that's like one little page of the thing. Serendipitous. And then she goes, oh, I had no idea that you got your idea from a children's book. You know why? Because just like the rest of this whole entire movie, it was just reasons. This was two and a fucking half hours of reasons. They just, they, it would like, they, they set that scene up so it would pay off in a later scene for like a dumb joke that didn't really work well. That wasn't funny. I don't need reasons to look at Jason Momoa. I'll just look at Jason that's the, Momoa. And that's the only reason you want this movie. Give me one reason why this was a good movie outside of Jason Momoa with no shirt. Well, there was a lot of fish. I like animals. Um, <laughs> tridents are fun and cool. 
You Julie really like the part where he was swimming with the dolphins, huh? Yeah, that was cute. Nice little animal interaction. I swam with dolphins. He swam with dolphins. I'm pretty sure if Jason Momoa was gay, we'd be together. So it was. It, there was plenty of action. Good choreography. Good villains. Choreography. Choreography. No. A fight. Wrong. Wrong. It was decent fight choreography. No? Some of it was yeah. okay. The CGI wasn't that fucking horrible. Black Manta was kind of useless. Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Overall, you're it's like a really top-notch B movie. You're that's an A movie because of Jason Momoa. <laughs> it's a B movie that's an A movie you because of so Jason dumb. Momoa. You are really dumb, for real. So you wouldn't, you wouldn't recommend it. You wouldn't want to go see it again. No. no. You would have preferred to not have watched that. Yeah. I would that's, say that's two and a half hours of my life that I could really have spent doing something else. My recommendation would be to catch it streaming if it shows up. Somewhere. Wait until it comes out for free. You should see yeah. that shit on the biggest screen possible. No, no. I no, did not really even shouldn't. feel that it was a big screen movie, and I wonder how it will carry over to the small screen. If it probably will look, not well. Well, then that means I it's will find not out because I'm gonna movie. buy that shit in 4K. Well, there you go. You Immediately, just, you just basically summed up why it's a bad movie. Is I, it's not going to translate to the small screen either because CGI it's a bad movies movie. usually don't because some it's a do. piece of shit CGI yeah. shit show. Yeah. Some do. Mm. Mm. Infinity Wars wasn't mm. that bad. I still Just haven't like, watched that yet. I'm going to wait for four. I'm going to. I have it in 4K. I'm going to wait for Endgame to come out. I'm going to watch it right before. Oh, okay. It's going to be great. Sure. Yeah. So, sure. Uh, it took me a right. while to find this. I, you can't I, catch me, gay thoughts. Everyone should see this. I should have been day. playing that a couple more times. You should not <laughs> listen to Scott or Z. I'm, I'm in the process of revamping everything on my fucking soundboard. So, so. so we recommend it for streaming. I recommend it for everything. You recommend it for... I, we recommend it for when it's free. Yeah. And you don't have to pay for it. If you're, on an air, if you're on a flight. Yes. If you're on a flight... And you then, need to eat up two and a half hours. Then that's a good thing you can do. Or like if you're cleaning the house and you can throw it up on Netflix and like have it background music... It'd be, well, no, because the music was fucking horrible, so you yeah. don't want to have that either. You can put it so on mute. Put on mute, and then you can watch it. If you're on LSD and you're Maybe. tripping balls, Maybe you'd like then it. you will be so into this movie. Oh, my God, man, there's fish, man. Look at that fucking crazy, man. Oh, and it does have it one mid credit scene. <clears throat> That's kind of Which cool. was also a waste of fucking How time. How is it kind of cool? It sucks. sets up. The sequel. Nothing. The watch won't happen. They already used their main won't two happen. fucking villains. They got no one else. They had won't to keep happen. Black Man alive. Won't They'll happen. have a sequel. No sequel. Yeah, there will. Well, what, that, that dude, fucking, it made a billion dollars. That, They're gonna that, have a sequel. That fucking credit scene happened, and this little kid was like, "That means they have to make a second one." And I actually caught myself out loud saying, "God, I hope not." Well, they will. <sighs> oh, they will, and it will be awesome, dude. If no. Suicide Squad got a sequel, It'll suck. this is getting a sequel. I don't want to say there's a correlation to your hand in your pants and we're talking about Jason Momoa a lot. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, but his his hand's down the back of his pants. Mm. Yeah, there we go. Yes. His hand's in the back of his pants, which means in two seconds he's about to run his finger along your fucking upper lip. Oh, my God. (laughs) I'm already quivering thinking about it. (laughs) God, I want that sauce on my Wawa sandwich. So let's just end this disaster of a waterlogged episode. Oh, my God. So we are heading to the new year. So I'd like to let our uh, fans and followers and friends know we're going to try something new. We're going to open up a phone line for you to call us and leave us a message. A way for you to get in direct contact with us here at Ork U. Ooh. Give us a call and you can leave a voicemail. That's when you leave a message with your voice. Yes. And there's a chance that we'll play it in an episode of Ork U. So whatever you want to do, you want to ask a question, you want to make a comment, you, you want to review show something. your hatred for noob noob. Or love. Or yeah, you want you want us to review something for you? Uh, go ahead and call up and leave a message, and then of course we may or may not depends on how I feel. Play <laughs> it in a future episode of Orc U. So this is a, a fun way for us to start interacting more and more with our friends out there in podcast land. And of course, this is a welcome way we have our podcast, uh, not podcast, uh, 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 review friends from Instagram and such. To go ahead and call in and uh, go ahead and leave a short review, and I'd be happy to play it during oh, yeah. a future episode real fast. Just keep it quick and simple. We can't dedicate the whole show to it, but 
you know, it'd be, it'd be a fun way to be uh, get back in contact with uh, some of our friends. Yes. It sounds like a wiener. So We have a wiener. Do you want if, to tell them the number? If, oh, yeah. If What's you the do number? want to give us a call, <laughs> it's 866. That's right. We're going to fucking give you an 800 number. No cost to you. 866-777-ORC-U. Well, why don't you tell people they can't t- use numbers and letters together? You Hold can. On. I don't you know how to do that. absolutely can. 866-777-6758. That is ORC-U. 777 ORC-U. That's an 866. So that the last four numbers are 6... 6, 7... 7... 5... 5... 8... Eight. I said that. Six, seven, Pretty sure five, when we listen eight. to this back, it's going to be very confusing what the actual fucking number is. Eight six six seven 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 orq. How's there that go. confusing? That's very straightforward. Yeah, not like how you said it the first ten minutes. That's what I said the first time. Eight six six no, seven seven like, seven orq. It's an eight hundred number, but it's an eight six six number. But then there's four seven five eights. But then it's an orq, and then there's pineapples in the corner. Like what the fuck? <laughs> no, it's eight six six seven 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 orq. Okay, thank you. That's very straightforward. All right. Okay. In, in, in case you didn't catch that, that was the repetitive clause that you have to do to get numbers to stick in people's heads. Exactly. So one more time, that number was 866-777-ORC-U. And You're so lucky I don't make a joke about that song that people sing that's a phone number. I won't do it. 8675 No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, so so people- if you liked what you heard here today... You can go ahead over to Instagram and follow us at orc underscore you. You can go over to youtube.com slash our reviews will kill you. You can go to YouTube and search our reviews will kill you and we'll pop up there. And, and that's it. I'm not advertising anything else. And orc you is brought to you for free as always because we do have friends out there. Our friends do include Blue Iron on Amazon Prime, a Blue Iron Productions and Scout Killer Productions available with your Amazon Prime prescription on Amazon Video and ScottWillKillYou.com with our podcast friends over there including the Doncast. I was actually drinking with Doncast last night. The Don. The Don so, of yeah, all we actually, Dons? We, ju- we just played a uh, charity ice hockey tournament of breast cancer awareness. Fuck breast cancer. Uh, I uh, ask everyone to go out and do whatever charities you can, but I was talking to the Donald, and, the Don he, and, and he was like, hey, uh, we need to talk about podcasts and getting more episodes done. He was very drunk at the time. It was amusing, but I do expect to have some Doncast stuff coming up soon. I kind of hope, or else I'm going to have to drop this. Sorry, little son of very a bitch. Very doubtful, but continue. <laughs> and then, of course, the K101. The K stands for kink. Very ScottWillKillYou.com. Now, when you say that's brought to you for free because of Blue Iron, it, does Blue Iron do something that makes our podcast free, Scott? Yeah, yeah, they pay what, me. What is that? They pay Scott. <laughs> they pay me. <laughs> they pay, okay, and that in turn makes our podcast free. And, and that you in don't turn allows me to do what I need to do to make this podcast free for our dear listeners. Okay. Amazing. Like pay for a microphone that yeah. someone should have bought their yeah. own microphone, but didn't yeah. actually. In do order, that. in order for certain people on this podcast to use other people's equipment that they had to pay for out of fucking pocket. You're lucky my mouth is on your mic right now because they're fucking cheap. Mm. Mm-hmm. Aquaman, mm-hmm. spending my money watching Aquaman. So from all of us here at Orkyu to all of y'all at home, save the dolphins. Avoid Aquaman.